of deadly motorcycle crashes this year are nearly double what they were at the same time last year. And the worst part, some of these crashes could have been avoided. Many of us have driven right past this, a mangled motorcycle in the middle of the street, a motorcyclist injured or worse, killed. Switching lanes and then the car that hit him, that one was coming to speed, like no brakes at all, just like boom. Paul Padilla died in this Santa Fe crash earlier this month. Police say the driver that hit him was drunk. Careless driving to texting while driving. The DUI problem in this state. Raymond Gallegos didn't know the victim, but understands what his loved ones are going through. I've lost friends. I've lost family members to the road. And I found out serious motorcycle crashes are on the rise. Numbers from the New Mexico Motorcycle Safety Foundation show there have been 81 crashes so far this year. That's compared to 46 at the same time last year. 12 of this year's motorcycle crashes have been deadly compared to five deadly crashes last year. A spike in the number of serious crashes has some riders wondering if the ride is even worth it. A lot of people say because of all the crashes you've reported, sometimes I get a feeling that today's not a good day to ride. These bikers tell me they know the risk every time they get on. Somebody's going to be suffering. Somebody is not coming home tonight. And that's hard because that could be any one of us at any minute. They're extra safe on the roads now, and they want you to do the same to avoid something like this. Now, Gallegos tells me he thinks part of the problem is also because there isn't enough traffic. There aren't enough traffic officers rather looking for speeders, drunk drivers or other careless drivers. I'm Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News.